Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dennis Harlett talking to you once again from Andalucía in uh, southern Spain. Uh, in a departure from the usual sort of things that I would talk about, uh, today I'm concentrating on the Nokia N95, the um, upmarket uh, uh, mobile phone that I acquired recently through eBay. Uh, the reason for that is that my good friend James Governor uh, wanted to know if I still think it, it falls into the orgasmic area of uh, toys that are worth having. The answer to that short, uh, shortly is yes. Uh, subject to battery life, which really sucks if you're using GPRS capabilities a lot of the time, um, this is a really, really good phone for um, the person who wants uh, something with all the bells and whistles uh, but doesn't necessarily want a crackberry. Um, a couple of things that I've installed on that is Gmail and Fring. Um, I've written about both before, but Fring is a way of using uh, the data network, in other words the GPRS network, uh, to both chat and to talk uh, to other people who are Fring enabled, or Skype users for that matter, um, without incurring data charges. So if you're on a, a rather restricted uh, data plan, then this could be a good way to talk to other people. Um, Lloyd Lemaire reckons that Fring sucks. Uh, my experience is somewhat different. The other evening on the way home from Malaga, um, I was able to do a Fring call without too many difficulties, apart from the uh, variability of the GPRS signal itself in the Andalusian mountains. Anyway, just to show you what I mean here, I've um, preloaded a couple of the applications. And what I wanted to show you is, is, that, is this particular capability here. You see, whoops, you see it searching for a wireless LAN? Now, I have a wireless LAN here in the office, and it's called default. So I'm going to select that instead of internet GPRS because uh, selecting the um, internal wireless LAN means that I'm not accessing uh, my data network. Okay, so there we go. And it's loading Gmail, and there you go. And nothing new in there so far. Okay, I'll just dump out of there, and I will now just flick over very quickly to Fring. And there, as you can see, by the way, um, both Fring and Gmail and also Google Maps uh, are in the main menu. Okay, so just knock on to Fring. And if you have a look there, if you see there, whoops, sorry, I'm not very good at doing this, working back to front, I don't suppose many others are. Ah, there's James. See, James is now, whoops, James is on Skype, I imagine. See, there he is, whoops. And if I wanted to, I could send a chat message to him, or I could do a voice message to him. Um, those are two of, the, uh, two of the main great features with this. And of course, with it being a Nokia, and uh, the Nokia N95 in particular, has got a really good camera. This one here, whoops, I've just uh, opened the shutter. There you go, and turn it, whoops, to get it the right way around. And I can, take a picture, which I've duly done. There it is. And what I can also now do is yeah, I can um, upload that to the um, Flickr account. Now the way that we do that is to go to the gallery. It's a bit of a long-winded way of going about things. So we go to the gallery, open up the gallery, images and videos, There's my image, okay, and then I've got some options. Oh, by the way, have you noticed that it's gone round to this way because I've kind of not got it that way. Um, okay, so with this I can select options and I can open an online service, in this case, oops, my Flickr, okay, and when I select that, I can attach the photograph that I've just taken and upload it to Flickr. To me, that's a great little extra, nice little thing to be able to do. Also has Vox if you're into doing video recording, but quite frankly, I, I don't really understand that too much. Um, but those are three great features of the N95. As you can see, it's, it's not exactly a huge device. Uh, fits in the palm of my hand uh, like that. Um, very, very lightweight compared to other uh, mobile phones that I've had, and all in all, um, a pretty good piece of kit. Um, as I say, the only thing that's, uh, that's really sucks on it is battery life, 
and I rather suspect that when I'm in the UK next, I'm going to have to get a fresh one. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope that's helpful to you, James, and in the meantime, everybody else, goodbye.